Sure, they're great. Uh, <laughs> dude, come on, bro. You've been, you've been, come on. Okay. I just, I just said that because you called me Ben Shapiro. But my point is, oh, but you didn't get the vaccine. But what is it me for, bro? What? <laughs> I think Jinxie is doing a shockingly good job that I did not expect of him in this conversation. Hassan, did you see Sneeko talk about you on the new Jinxie pod? I did not. I am 32 years old. Um, But yeah, it, it send me the link and I would uh, like to see it. Found it in the transcript feel that Hasanabi had a disagreement with you like or, or would you say that jump started it was you beefing with Hasanabi jump started what you said wow well, I said at what point did you become controversial you brought up Hassan I don't know I was just like because you you said Ben Shab you called me Ben Shapiro so I'm calling you Hasanabi like that's the that's oh. the difference because I said the truth is controversial in the world of lies the reason that I'm controversial is because of how many like hula hoops you need to jump through in order to get get a paycheck like there's there's a reason why you know so do you understand like business or no? A hundred percent. I'll explain it. Um, so what? That's it? I don't understand. What? I have a live audience. I can repurpose like as a, as a man. What are your goals? Seek truth through funny. That's my motto. Okay. Seek truth through funny. I, I want to get to the truth, but I don't think people listen if you're not being entertained. This dude literally is a, like, he advocates for like Nazism and shit. What do you mean? What? What's this guy Jinxie doing? I mean, it's crazy. I'm a podcast with Sneeko right after Charlie has to be on purpose. He mentions you throughout a ton. Nothing specific. He backed off a lot. He called Pokey out too. Why does this dude even talk about me? Like, I, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. It actually, I, I don't understand it. I, I don't even, I don't think about this dude. I don't talk about this dude. Very odd. So you watch a clip and give him clout. Brother, he's on the Jinxie podcast. Like this shit is going to get him more clout than anything else. Look at this. He's got 2.5 million views, 1.7 million views. This one's going to pop off too. He sees himself as edgy type and Jinxie as mainstream and following trends, which he thinks you do also lol. Very, very odd. You need to go captivate people. You need to go garner attention. And I think that you should do it in the right way. And the best way is to make people laugh. If you can make people laugh by telling the truth, then you're doing two positive things at once. And that's what I want to do with my streams. That's why, that's why I started streaming um, in 2022. Okay. That's interesting. I wasn't being as effective with my YouTube videos. I started like, I hit a million, but it took a long time. And I was uploading like once a week and it wasn't getting that output. And then when I started streaming, I was able to like really like quadruple my output in one day and i just like the first day i streamed may 1st 2022 i was like this is definitely the way to go because i, I have a live audience i can repurpose the content i'm capturing people's attention people are getting energetic i'm interacting with them in real time this is the way to do it and you know I'm, some people are getting some benefit out of it dude yeah and when you were i mean when you were a kid i saw some of like your old youtube clips you actually like started off pretty wholesome i'd say i'm still wholesome you think so i just told damn this dude's doing like actual I'm shocked at Jinxie knowing that much. His producers are, damn, he's got some good ass producers. I told you that I think that you should, you, you should work hard. I should, I'm telling you that you should laugh, that yeah. you should get to the truth, that you should have action in your 100%. life, that you shouldn't be sad. Those are all really wholesome, positive yeah. things. Um, so I, and I was saying all that same stuff when I was a kid. You could watch me when I was like 14, 15, yeah, saying, just like, get off your ass and do something. Yeah. I'm like 14 saying you know, this you were pretty, like You were well-spoken. I was like, yapping yeah. like before puberty. Yeah. So at what point, because, I mean, would you say you're a controversial person? Would you say that? Sure, yeah. And I mean, okay. the, the truth is controversial in a world of lies. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Ben Shapiro. Um, <laughs> would you say, would you say... Well, at what point in your career did you become controversial? Okay, Hasanabi. What did you do? When I realized that on your website, like Twitch, that you can't say how many genders there are. People say that I yap about this too much, but it's a very simple reality of the world that you know, but you probably can't say it because you're on Twitch, and I don't want to, like, put you on the spot and make you say it. But, like, yeah, there's two genders. There's, male, there's men and women, but you can't say simple stuff like that. You can't say the word simp on Twitch because they want you to become a simp. They want you to sit there, <laughs> and then beat your meat, and then get fat while watching Pokemon. You definitely can say the word simp on Twitch. I like that these guys basically cultivate like a totally, totally separate reality and just go along with it because they saw a headline while they also simultaneously keep talking about how they're truth seeking. I call them all simps all the time. Watch Hasanabi have terrible takes about the world. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Streaming's harder than working in a mine. <laughs> and give your money away to these people that like, and then just Streaming is harder than working in a mine. What has Sneeko done for workers' rights? I wonder. Amos Haas and I have a quote. Streaming is harder than working in a mine. Oh my god. How do you get shit wrong on like every level? It's kind of crazy. The only person working harder than streamers is Sneeko's girlfriend.
Jadion comes on, he's funny, ban him, and they ban him, and then no one funny exists. Like that, that's why you're doing well. I'm like, why are you having me on? Because I, I really, I want you to last, man. You're doing some good stuff. So what? So what did you, bro? No one. I'm not like, dude. I, no, I'm not gonna get banned by proxy of you, dude. I hope not. I, you have I, your I really own. Hope not. Yeah, that's true. You that's have true. Your own you, you did enough pushback, so you're gonna be good. So why, um, why do you feel that Hasanabi had a disagreement with you? Like, or, or would you say that jump started it was you beefing with Hasanabi? Jump started what? You said, well, I said, at what point did you become controversial? You brought up Hassan. I don't know. I was just like, because you, you said Ben Shapiro, you called me Ben Shapiro, so I'm calling you Hassanabi. Like, that's the, that's oh. the difference. Because I said the truth is controversial in the world of lies. The reason that I'm controversial is because of how many, like, hula hoops you need to jump through in order to get, get a paycheck. Like, there's, there's a reason why, you know. So do you understand, like, business or no? A hundred percent. I'll explain it. Um, so the reason why <laughs> it's so filtered on Twitch and YouTube is yeah. because they want ad revenue. A hundred percent. So the reason why, people, but that's why I'm controversial because everybody has to go and they're not, dude. They're not saying that they hate you because you're giving these takes. They're saying, oh, we want to be able to run ads on Sneeko's stream. Maybe he should cock it back a little bit, or we ban him. Right? Do you get that at all? Pretty balanced. You get the take. business side of it, right? But like Twitch lied about why they banned me. Pretty, pretty balanced take. Also, I've had so many one-sided beefs. I'm the, I'm the number one one-sided beefer. Jinxie is smarter than Zigo. Yes. Every a doorknob is smarter than Sneeko. That, that's not saying much. But yes, he is objectively smarter than him. They said it was for ban evasion. Like, at least be honest. They just, just tell me, okay, we can't make money off you. Don't say that it's for suspension evasion. When I just, I, was, I went on Twitch right after I got banned on YouTube and I was eating a salad with my mic off and then they banned me. Okay. I mean... For suspension evasion. It's like, just be straight well, up. Were you suspended on Twitch? I no. I, I started an account right after I got banned on YouTube and they said suspension evasion. I wasn't even talking to ban me. And so you got, ban you got banned for ban evasion permanently? Bro, he probably got... I didn't even know he was banned, but I suspect that the reason why he got banned is because he was like literally violating terms of service on every platform, like repeatedly making threats against YouTube content creators. Um, I don't know, promoting Nazis. Aligning with Nazis, having Nazis on his stream, no shit. It makes no sense. Of course you're going to get banned. Your entire, your entire uh, uh, brand is about saying like unhinged, oftentimes violent shit. I don't get it. Really banned for ban evasion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's indefinite. I still am banned. Yeah. This dude literally, yeah. Didn't he like dance to a, to a Nazi, uh, to like a, like a Nazi national anthem or some shit too? Like a trap remix, like come on, bro, you you know what you're doing. That's like your brand. Your brand is to consistently be a contrarian for brain broken teenagers who think that like being a Nazi is the coolest thing you can be because their worldview is just defined by what they suspect is uh, the restrictive terms of service. Like I don't like liberals either, but that don't mean I'm gonna adopt all of the positions that they're against across the board without ever putting any care or consideration into it that's it man i haven't i haven't checked maybe i i could i know that no i applied again yeah no yeah but i do think that's another thing i disagree with you on now that we're here um, okay because like it's hard to think of 20 things but when we're talking it's pretty easy yeah, yeah, yeah um you think everything is so filtered because people have an ideology and a vision and a motion and a movement when i think they want to make money because money is how the world goes around. So they know they can't run ads on your stream because you're talking about all this shit. You're talking about politics. You're talking about epidemics. Yeah, but the problem goes deeper than just the platforms. My beef is not even just with the platforms. It's the fact that you need to say those certain things in order to get advertisers money. Like, why do the advertisers only want to push a certain ideology? Why is that? Great question. So imagine you're Gatorade, right? And you're saying, okay, let's throw a 30-second Gatorade. It's not just... I mean, Jinxie's right, but it's also, it's also because like the shit that he's advocating for do legitimately make these platforms less safe for like trans content creators or for Jewish content creators, for, for content creators of any kind of background. So it's not just that like money is, is, uh, going to run dry if they let Sneekos run wild women. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's that you look at kick and you look at Twitch, one platform is completely held up by a crypto gambling casino and the revenue that it brings in the other is under the banner of amazon and is consistently trying to generate advertisement revenue when you have no rules it would look like kick twitch would look like kick that's it letting sneakos run wild looks exactly 
in the same way that kick looks like right now doesn't mean you can't talk about politics there are people who talk about politics on this platform it's just that the way that he covers shit and the things that he pushes the things that he advocates for are wholeheartedly toxic toxic for brands toxic for the people that are on the platform just bad overall i don't know it's just very interesting that these guys will be like why can't i be a nazi publicly and like have people praise me like it must be the wokes that are not aligned with my agenda of yeah agenda of what pushing nazi ideas like that's crazy chatter said you're a nazi yeah thanks chatter definitely twitch ad we can throw it on oh queso he's playing fall guys and laughing or sneeko he just said vaccine causes cancer or you didn't say that but see but th there's the thing vaccine is hurting people that's what i said like, like, oh, look, Sneeko's trying to, like, warn you that you might get myocarditis. Or let's but, go to a hot tub streamer who's shaking her tits upside down. Like, oh, but, oh, but there's little black bars covering her giant fake ba boob titty nipple. But Sneeko... Yeah, nobody f dies from seeing a titty, dumbass. But vaccine denialism does genuinely cause harm in the public. So there you go. What is this false equivalence between the two? Damn, bro, people saw f titty. They're going to go kill themselves now. Are you a doctor? Okay, I, I, am I a, am I a, oh. what, what does that have to do with, like, I, I Bro, gosh, Sneeko's so f dumb. I can't believe the, the Rainbow Six streamer, famous for f screaming at the camera in his underwear, is just absolutely demolishing him. God damn, he has one question. He says, Sneeko, are you a doctor? He's already f ruined. It has to do with everything. But you know what's crazy? On Twitch, you can say, all those creators, Pokemon, Hasana, all these people, they'll tell you, get the scene. And that doesn't get you banned like that. The yeah, no shit. Because we're listening to the doctors. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. I have never once presented myself as someone who is like knowledgeable on medicine, which is precisely the reason why I sit my ass down and I listen to the actual medical professionals. And no, I don't mean the random chiropractor that told you the vaccines make you gay and autistic. Okay. God. Damn, this guy's libertarianism is a mental illness. Yeah, no, this is like, this is like just the highest level of contrarianism. It, and it is unironically mental illness. The medical thing is, is a, is a, is a lot like that's a, a bad argument because there's only one position that you're supposed to have. If you're not a doctor, you can say everybody get the vaccine and the vaccine ads. Some of the advertisers are, are Pfizer. You'll be watching like Jinxie drooling and then you see like a fucking Moderna ad pop up and there's like Michael Phelps that has a Band-Aid and he's like, good job, Band-Aid, whoa, got vaccine like a got milk ad. There's one ideology you need to push. <laughs> That's crazy that he's like presenting getting vaccinated as an ideology still in 2024. Oh my God. We are getting objectively dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber as a society. Oh my Lord. Okay. But the difference to that argument, though, is the doctors are in majority saying to get the vaccine. So they're agreeing with... A lot of them weren't. A lot of them were just getting paid to. Well, sure, a lot of people that were being vocal... Were the vocal ones, yeah, because the, the vocal doctor... Damn, even, even, his, even his producers are stepping in to be like, dude, shut the f*** up. There's <laughs> that were anti f***ing, what happened? They got packed up. Sure, sure, and I disagree with that, but I'm saying that... Industrial revolution allowing morons to live? Yeah, literally. This is one of the worst consequences, like, not to come across like one of these, like, eugenics andies, but goddamn, dude, modern medicine has gone too far, okay? Some of these dumb mother should have just, uh, nature would have taken care of them. <laughs> the vast majority of doctors were agreeing with that stance, and then Pokemon and those people take that stance. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was gonna say that when you were, like, done with whatever that was. Yeah, yeah. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, so Sneeko, you're not a doctor. You're not. You're a um, YouTuber. Well, okay. You're a rumble streamer. I'm a rumbler. Stop calling me a YouTuber. You're, okay, you're not a doctor. But, look, but, look, and, but you're talking, yeah. you're, you're shitting on Hassan and Pokey, which, cool. Shit on whoever you want to shit. I'm not shitting on them. They're, they're sure they're great. <laughs> Dude, come on, bro. You've been, you've been, come on. Okay. I, did, I just said that because you called me Ben Shapiro. But my point is, oh, but you didn't get the bro. The f Why did they say me for bro what the hell he said yeah go on shit on him no <laughs> look i don't give a f what sneeko says i think jinxie is doing a shockingly good job that i did not expect of him in this conversation I, I i legitimately i legitimately did not think that this would go the way that it did it is he does he understands business sorry bud f 
John sells tickets. Yeah, I don't, brother. Listen, I don't even expect my friends to publicly defend me. Shit gets real toxic for them, no matter what. Dude, and that's and that's and that's my that's my personal because decision. that's. But if people get the vaccine, that's great. Do you, have a, do you have a problem with that? I do have a well, problem. Dude, with, I have I, a problem. You with have people, a problem with people doing what they want to do to their their body. They don't even want to do it. A lot of them didn't want it. Most of the people and they're watching this right now, they regret taking it because they were forced to. They said, you're going you're what? gonna get kicked out of school. You can't come to work unless you get this. They regretted and they hated it. And they pretty much, they got injected without their permission. Non-consensual, consensual injection. So, but back to like base yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we're, What What I was saying and what he was saying, yeah. we're not saying we agree or disagree. We're saying Hassan and Pokey were taking the stance of doctors, right? They, you're not, right? That's what, that's what we were saying. They're taking the stance of science, studies. Of the promoted doctors. Okay. All right, we're going in circles. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's cooking him though. What? Yo, dude. God damn, maybe the kids aren't cooked. Oh, Jesus Christ. That, this is making me so happy. Holy shit. When I, when I saw that he interviewed him, I was like, oh my Lord, this is going to be, here we go. Thinks he turned off that stutter and locked in. Yes, dude. What the f if you want to keep your hope, don't go to the comments. Oh my God. <sighs> I don't even want to. The episode is conflicting. I can see both sides because I'm very open-minded, but they both clear are very different beliefs. Which them class. However, Jinxie does seem a bit hostile, which is a side I'm not fond of. Sneakers seem pretty chill. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. I don't want to even see that shit. You said don't go to the comments. I'm going to go to the comments when you say that. You know that, right? Like I can't stop myself. I have to go to the comments when you say stuff like that i'm gonna go and what i'm gonna see there is making me sad yeah agree to disagree yeah yeah agree to disagree okay um so sean strickland beat the fuck out of you i'm still standing <laughs> still hey, standing. first off i actually respect you for even getting in the fucking yeah. i would never i would never do that what do you think would happen if you went in there i'd cease to exist i wouldn't be in this chair right now i'd die um so good shit bro yeah, um can you walk me through that what are your thoughts on that how do you feel before? How do you feel after? The rest of it is, I assume, other stuff. I guarantee I could spend 20 minutes with any of those comments to convince them to eat fresh, steamy dog shit. It's crazy. Those people just walk around in the world and do this. They're not very intelligent people. That much is clear. You got to be dumber than Sneeko to look up the Sneeko. Just, and I don't even know how, like, I don't know how deep that well goes. You know what I mean? The, the well of stupidity. The dude said doctors are being paid to promote the vaccine like doctors in the big in the pocket of big insulin okay 